Oh, baby, here we go. Five something in the morning. As you see the old love taps here. Uh, as you can't see, because it's too dark, old DNH Classics is here. And we're gonna hop in with him. We're headed north, I don't know, a few hours. And we are headed to a junkyard in Kansas today. And y'all can't see me now, so I'll check in later. I can't think of a better time to update y'all than right here as we pass the little black Corolla. That's what the old Torola used to look like before she was whipped on slick. <laughs> you remember when she was a I mean, cream puff? She was nice back in the, when you were living in Louisiana. It was pretty nice. Yeah. Damn! And then we got her here to do Pot County things. Uh, as y'all can maybe see, there's a little more snow up this way than what we had in Oklahoma. We had no snow in Oklahoma. This is going to be a long day. Uh, along these roads where it's drifted up, it's pretty thick. We don't know how thick it's going to be on these cars. We're hoping not too thick where y'all can see the cars. Uh, we're about 20 minutes out, give or take a minute or 12. Oh, and ice. <laughs> ice, snow. We had truck stuck here last night. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Good thing I brought my snow boots from our little skiing trip. You're about to put a custom dent on that Ram Charger. <laughs> there you go here's your uh, ram charger with the custom quarter now that we're outside y'all can see dnh new tow rig looking nice we rode up here in luxury is what we did i brought the old old air force backpack she's plum full of the stay warm stuff dang slick you look like you're ready for grease lightning winter edition <laughs> all right we are layered up ready to do some walking we are up here in Kansas, and actually this gentleman has his own YouTube channel. It's actually Silas from Adventures Made From Scratch. He does a whole lot of junkyarding, running junkyards, bringing cars in, sending cars out. Uh, I'll put a link to his YouTube down in the description of this video if y'all want to give him a, a little check out. Uh, as you can see, DNH is bringing him some, I don't know, thunder chicken nose cones or something. All the Thunderbird nose cones and the good old Ram Charger, uh, Mortsky's favorite. He's a hard, hardcore Mopar guy now. And our little group text, you know, with me, Slick, and Mortsky, it's all Mopar, no car. I love D100s. And that's all he's been sending us. He's trying to make us believers. He just ain't converted us yet. He ain't very close neither. No, he don't. it's going to take another 50 years for him to convert me. <laughs> and, uh, we're trying to figure out who's going to take the first fall today because underneath all of that, <laughs> as I'm going to slick just then, underneath the snow, uh, we have discovered there's some ice. Shoo! So as soon as we get in here, uh, look, look at here, guys. One, that's a unicycler. All right, we got the one man job. Check out these little bicycles, a little green with the pinstripe on her. We like that but uh i'd be lying to y'all if i didn't tell you we come up here with the intention of taking something home and i just happen to know about this from dnh classics y'all know i've been talking about an old black mercedes and yes i found that one uh however this one i think is probably in a little bit better shape of course we'll see because now as you see it in person there is some paint chipping off the bottom uh, we may just have to put some rhino liner on that or something you know the rocker guard she does have all the caps oh it's just like that other one yeah what did these cars come body worked from the factory all black and busting out because that other one's the same way it looks clean it looks factory but it's got random areas all over it what the smell dang She's a cream puff in the trunk. Yeah, pretty nice. Well, that old ball That's screw right. jack of some sort or something. Yeah, we're going to need that today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's going to get it done. I'm afraid y'all ain't even going to be able to see half these cars, unfortunately. Uh, this may be a bust of a video. I do apologize. We knew there was snow, but we didn't really know what we were getting into. We don't get this kind of snow in Oklahoma usually. Uh, so I didn't know what we were up against coming up here to Kansas. Let's see if we can get her open up here. Dang! Of course, we got the house carpet. But step inside. Little custom center console with the Concord speakers right there. Holy emblem or horn button. Man, 
I don't know, Slick. What are you thinking? A little rough. I do like these little crank windows. We gotta get the uh, we gotta get the hood open on it. This this kind of crap kills it for me though, man. I mean, we have that one on the one we had found back home. Very similar problems. That's what I was actually really trying to avoid by finding this one. Uh, this one is cheaper than the one from back home, uh, but it's appearing to have kind of similar problems. I would say overall, this one has a little bit cleaner body. Except for the white mohawk on it, because we don't know what's underneath all that snow. <laughs> How many Oklahomans does it take to open a Mercedes hood? About to run that loader fork right through there and just pick her up. That girl's moving with it, ain't it? Yeah. How many fancy safety latches does this old Mercedes have, huh? Oh, we're good. Oh, right. Slick wasn't working the release good enough. Oh, so Six. she's smaller motor. That other one we had found. Oh, look at that cute little generator down there. I'm cute. The other one we found was a straight six, I believe, with two carburetors. This one is not. She's a little four banger. She is a, she's pretty cute. Cute, cute. Underneath here definitely looks like she needs a small block Chevy If you look at the hood, there's no like super noticeable dents. It's single layer. Yeah, so I think the hood's probably good Hood's probably all right except for the body yeah. Feeler that's <laughs> rolling off of it somewhere. Man. Oh Don't break that everything underneath here's pretty brittle. Where's the uh, is that this sucker? <sighs> yeah, little oil in her don't make us throw a battery in this unit have her running Gonna be a long drive to Oklahoma, boys. <laughs> well, she's complete, which is nice. At least if we did decide we want to take this one, uh, we could see if she'd be a runner, possibly. Of course, when we finally get a Mercedes, we're gonna name it Rupert. Oh, Rupert! Uh, oh, nice little patina on the roof, slick. Yeah, I like the red. It's cool. We got some red coming through. Yeah, that's cool. If we buffer good enough, we could get red in other places. Also, if we could match that red, we could knock all that crap down on the bottom, prime red, red, then black, and do a little blending. It could make it work. It could be made to work. This side's way nicer than that side. Like, I don't think this side is... That side's definitely going to need the blend the job. Door. This side's going to be a little be easier. Yeah. The body, that other one is all the way around peeling body filler. This one, this side's pretty good. So, what we got there, Kansas, land of A H. Yes. Kansas land of assholes. What is going on here, guys? Y'all shouldn't claim that. I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> hey, the bumper sticker said it, not me. I just read it. Uh, I don't know. Good what we can see is the best I can go with. Are you getting this? Yeah. This is one of your pickups? Yeah. 59? Yeah. All right. These cars... They uh, they got a kind of sinister look to them with them little slants on the front, them double headlights kind of offset. They're just kind of mean looking. Kind of then you come to the rear of them and same thing, they got them slant fins. Woo! I about went down there. That one was about me. Yeah, you would have just seen the camera fly in the air, maybe a foot or two. She, uh, she's rough, but DNH, they stay dragging in cool stuff, rough stuff uh any cool old stuff that's what they're after is this hood attached i don't know yeah if, if y'all find a 59 buick hood between here and oklahoma it wasn't us it wasn't the first time. uh it looks like we got a mortsky will it run about halfway oh. through when you got the motor pulled apart going yep she's stuck it's got mortsky will it run written all over it well we have plenty of time to think about the mercedes and what we want to do there uh i guess we're going to look and see what we can see which is going to be apparently kind of hard got some cool doors here with some logos on them uh i'm he pulls i don't know a lot about his channel because i don't know a lot about youtube channels in general when you're busy making content you don't usually get to watch a lot of other people's content but i know this gentleman drags in a ton of stuff and he pulls a lot of the cabs off the uh, 
bigger one ton stuff and sells man he just he stays getting after it from what i can tell we got the booty of a little toyota mini truck r.i.p damn it slick mini truck down moment of silence pay your respects dang that's cool i just want to lean it on my wall somewhere uh got an international can't walk by an international without looking her over she's got the poles on the back of course when you can't see nothing because the dang snow you can't really look it over uh look at that big old six lug pattern on that rig got the 65 to 66 grill in it with the tow bar in case you need to fan uh get fancy and pull her down the road look at the old uh is that four wheel drive panel wagon next to us if we ain't careful guys we're gonna look past all kinds of good stuff in here Oh, it's Chevrolet. She ain't got a bad patina to her. Oh, well, she's a little humdingered on this side. I feel like we should have come up here when the, we had a little bit better weather. This was, our trip was planned though, and then the little blizzard thing came up here, so that wasn't planned, and we couldn't change plans. She's got the wagon wheels on her. She's about the right color, put in Fab Shop Blue. <laughs> oh, put in Fab Shop Blue on the way up here. And we were talking about like how everyone always says Putin's Fab Shop. What is Putin's Fab Shop blue? Any blue that's on an old car that we just happen to like, by golly. Uh, one could say this cab here could be Putin's Fab Shop bluish greenish. She got them old big fenders on her, the old 4400. Oh, baby. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a good box. Those are some good size ones there. Got kind of, got to pay attention here. We got little front ends off. Uh, our nose off front ends and everything kind of tucked. I feel like we're going to walk past some stuff here. Now, speaking of old Sir Mordecus and his uh, D100s, here we go. Here's him, his next show truck right there. She's got the stripes down the side and everything. Full graphic package, all right, with the running boards, Grandpa. Mordecus a grumpy grandpa. Here's your grumpy grandpa truck. Got the proper wheels and everything. Dylan! You ain't gonna take the Ferraro or whatever it's called. I know you're a sucker for them. I got of yeah, you got plenty. One's too many. Uh, he seems to always have a couple of them at his place. Whoo, look at the ice, muddy mess. If the sun comes out in a little bit, we may be in bad shape. I can't even see what this damn car is. I don't even know what I'm looking at in here. <laughs> Everything's got a custom white two-tone white top. I got a Chrysler, which I don't know these well enough to tell you what that is. The next door we got a old C10 with the uh, full moon cap. Can't be mad at that. Man, there's going to be some cool stuff here. And we can't even see hardly any of it. What we got there? A Nash front end, I think. And then, oh baby. I'm a sucker for these too, and she is the right color. Uh, anything that's half car, half truck, I'm a fan of automatically. Come across here. What in tarnation? What in the farmer's creation? What in the custom fabrication situation did we have going on here with this Ford F-250? Uh, she must have been some type of pump truck of some sort. What we got? That's your old propane rig or something? Go around and sell some propane out the back or selling some gas or something. At one point she was flammable, so we're on the right path there. Oh, Dodge there? That ain't a bad looking rig. Those things are kind of ugly. Your mama says you ugly, hey! And if that offends you, I'm sorry, but I like ugly things. Some of them Dodges are ugly. Just cause something's ugly, don't mean it ain't cool. Here's a fine example right here of that. It's a little international Lodestar of some sort, style. But look at that front end. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. So let's see if we can find the emblem here. Tell us what it is. BC 160 series. So this was probably before they actually uh, named the Lodestar and had the, the bigger front ends and all that. That's essentially what this is. But I, I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know them that well. I do think this is an earlier year. Look, that's a little different. Fancy little trim there. Poor International. They were trying with what they had. 
uh, they were one of the ones too who kind of made some ugly stuff and that being said i have three of them man i love them the color on this one's cool that front end is just ugly as can be though in my opinion right next door we got the volvo i don't know if you know this or not but newer volvo's got one hill of a uh safety crash rating all right so if you need a safe suv you better look into a volvo is what i've heard anyhow uh, i'll tell you what caught my eye and y'all's gonna laugh at me but i've always been a sucker for these all-wheel drive astro van right there obviously she's in bad shape but these things being all-wheel drive i always thought they were cooler than heck girl service bed here she's got a good look to her guys man that thing had been cool on the right track someone had converted that off the old pickup to a trailer at one point does look like i don't know where those guys went uh and it could probably be pretty easy to get lost out here i'm lost hey i found y'all oh man not the s10 same color as ours just smashed whammied <laughs> she's the custom slant back s10 she's the red wheel bandit yeah she is the red wheel bandit got the damn s10 camaro wheel gloss red better watch out got the four cylinder she ain't playing we got the uh four wheel drive travel all cab right there not a huge fan of those square body styles though ain't gonna lie to you uh man when they went from the late 60s to those squares international kind of lost me there up next door we got the custom line she's the right color too oh baby she's got the sales sticker price right on her too bad we can't see it oh i'm back next to the damn tanker see so much stuff out here behind it got the skylark little swept line dodge action watch out for that custom hitch right there don't take your shin out and what else do we got up in here oh baby we got the unit body in white and red it looks like but y'all can't see it because the snow right here we got custom spray paint rattle can job that baked off so now you just got the runs they left that's very custom and hard to find what we got here big old long dodge of some sort is that what she is i don't know these cars well enough quarter says yeah says she's a dodge dodge what dodge big old land yacht is what it is then we got the nice catalina man that thing had a sweet look that door's whammed in which sucks because that's got nice patina that one there's has got nice paint if you want to take grandma to church in it uh man that sucks that door's knocked in shoo old swept line here's got a nice little patainer to her as well i like that color coming underneath that uh these swept lines look cool you come back here and whoop right there that's a good look on these well there's us a two-door mercedes i'm not as big a fan as the two doors as i am the uh, four doors actually believe it or not and we're gonna check this side of this car and other than what you can't see i mean she looks pretty good to me unfortunately at this now y'all's gonna have to kind of use my judgment here what are these the little cushman kind of motorcycle thingies i don't know nothing about these uh, but boy they collected up some of these over the years just slide that door open sit in the middle with your little steering wheel i bet you could roll one of these things real easy now, speaking of box trucks got one right there on the on the third and it looks like we got another truck on the other side of here so we better take a quick gander just to be safe yep she had a good look to her and her knocked in the door man got some good looking patina down the drain right there yeah that'll happen i mean you get these trucks like these out here kansas area i'm sure a lot of them live their lives out on farms uh people are probably are not the most gentle with them when it's time to move them or whatever else uh now if you want to go beverly hillbillies head out to california load it down right there uh, you're ready to go there ain't much of that old rig left is there uh dang that chevrolet big rig right there's got a good look to it i like that color got a little tanner coming through on her that red showing through got the white roof that's a good looking truck right there got a ford panel here i don't know oh yeah it's got them reverse wheels it almost looks like it's sitting on the wrong chassis because them reverse wheels stick out so far got one of the old refrigerator trucks right next door and then of course we got the old long thunderbird 
that y'all cannot see as well. Uh, what is this little thing? It looks small here. <laughs> jet. She's just damned old turbo jet. That's all she is. Jet liner. Okay, there we go. I ain't never... Well, I'm sure I've seen one, but I don't recognize it. Kind of looks stubby looking. Uh, this old Ford snub nose. Speaking of stubby, right next door we got snubby. And old snubby's looking pretty good. That right there is just a perfect patina uh for this style of build slammed on them semi wheels maybe get some airbags in a cummins oh baby talk dirty to me ford had the styling going on in the early 60s i like all their emblems they're using they're using these stars on a lot of stuff with their dashboards and everything and uh yeah that's just a good looking cab right there now speaking of fancy cars we got a, another mercedes right yeah one of the older ones these things are super cool. I'd actually love to find one of these ones here in pristine shape. I like them a lot better. And then right next door, yeah, there's another one, the other Mercedes like we like, except she is uh, put in Fab Shop blue, I think, kinda. A little bit of rust, paint's flaking off at the bottom. What is going on here? Top of the doors are, oh, that's just a little patina. Don't worry about that. She's got most of her stuff on her. Uh, the boys must have found this one already. She's missing some snow. They're just out here making rounds. Missing a bumper. She come from the Wyoming. I don't know. When you see Wyoming and you see a cowboy on a old steer, you know, or old bucking horse getting, you know, buck nasty on the bucking horse, you just don't picture a Mercedes coming from Wyoming, do you? Next door, we got, what is that, the damn Toyota with the straight axle up front? Or is she? No, nah, she's independent front suspension, of course. I think 84 was the last year of uh, straight axle for the uh, Toyota. And as far as the trucks go, I'm not sure on those kind of, the little SUV, Pathfinder, whatever you call them things. Uh, these wagons, they're kind of cool. I used to not be a huge fan of them, uh, but the more I look at them, the more they win me over a little bit. Now, speaking of Toyotas, uh, here's the one that we found the cutoff booty from at the very beginning of the salvage yard. Up next door, we got us a Buick Special. You can see her vents down there. Let's see. Yep, she's got the Special on the back. And these things got the good-looking headlights. I like the grills on these. These are good-looking cruising cars. Uh, they pull off a custom look nice. They pull off the patina look nice. Pretty safe bet on building one of them. You ain't gonna end up building something you're not happy with. What's our mini truck working with here, huh? Got 22R, got the custom rat's nest filter on top. This thing, if we needed one to get us to Oklahoma today, it'd probably be this one here. Probably a little bit of gas, battery. We'd be headed to Pot County before you knew it. I'm just kicking snow on that. That's downright embarrassing. I didn't even get close to spelling P-Tang. Uh, anyhow, sorry about that. I ain't had the opportunity to try to write my name in a while in the snow. We don't get a lot of it. Whew, I put on so many layers that, uh, I'm getting hot just out here walking around. Look at those, uh, dang hubs or whatever. Engage, disengage on that. The old dualmatic. Them babies stick out like a, uh, family size soup can. Hey, International. Caught my eye. Man, that thing's got a cool look to it, too. Boy, if someone wanted to uh, build a big old tow pig, he's got a couple options here. We made it to School Bus Alley. Got the old Rambler there. What is this? Oh, this is kind of a little fancy looking. Oh, well, that's because it is as well a Mercedes. Yeah, I could tell she was fancy. I didn't know she was that fancy. Well, something like this would be a project in a house. A little suicide doors on it. Uh, it had some big old inlay in the dash. Yeah, this thing was probably top of the line back in the day. Another Rambler. I think we've walked past one or two of them so far. Uh, well, two for sure, because there's another one. But here's the International. Look at the old camper on her. She's in rough shape. Uh, front end's kind of knocked in. Bed side's definitely knocked in. Inside is R-U-F-F. And the old camper's going to need a little work. But she does come with a plunger in case the old shitter gets clogged, okay? Now this old Toyota, 
Someone done stripped some parts off of, and she used to be old mudslinger. You can tell by the one, the graphics package, okay? Once them graphics cross each other and head down that quarter of that bed, you know you mean business. But two, look at these babies here, all right? She was, she was ready. She is pretty picked over. Ain't much left of this one. Someone had put a little Weber style carburetor on it, possibly at one point, and it did have some air conditioning. Nice Thunderbird, of course. Got the, another old pole truck with one of them sweet old air tanks. I think these were from airplanes of some sort. Y'all can tell me down in the comments because some of y'all's gonna know exactly what these things were from. Uh, but you'll see them a lot on old work trucks uh, out here, especially farming areas and everything. People use them as an air tank. You can shoot that baby with some air right there in your valve stem or with your psh, 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 tire thingy, and then take her out and air up a tire. And this baby is a member of the KFDI Country Club, 1070 AM, Hutchison, Kansas. That's cool. Got the old lettering on it. Shoo! Spider webs. Uh, she's got the single bucket with that big old tank right there. Dang! And the speaker on the dash. She's a work rig and a half. Oh! My zipper's in bad shape. Almost looks like I'm wearing a sexy little blouse. Let's, uh, let's try to change that. Can't even use the magnet, but don't worry, there's enough snow. It'll hold me, or hold y'all. Hold y'all to hold, see me. Zipper may just be done for. We tried our best. Can't win all the battles around here. Slick Fitty, come in, Slick Fitty, come in. How deep did you go? I'm pretty deep. Would you go straight ahead? Or? Uh, do y'all know directions? Cause I'm northwest. He's northwest. <laughs> get your get your compass out, buddy. Uh, no, I ain't made it back that far the way y'all were headed. Classic fail safe thing to do right here, guys. If if they don't know northwest, east, south, that kind of stuff, just hit them with the hoot owl. I'm over here. Call you go. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. When they hear that, they'll come to you, guaranteed. Yeah, right here we got the Rambler Cross Country Wagon. But kind of caught my eye was this rig, not because I love it. Not because it has a cool color. Not because it has custom stuck on mailbox letters. It caught my eye because I could see it had a custom grill. She used to be hungry. She was running down the road chomping anything in her path. Got them old patina shark teeth on her, don't she? It was alcohol, wasn't it? Works every time. Did y'all see the teeth on this rig? She's got a dental problem. She's got a couple cool cans in her is what she's got. We got some cool wall hangers right in there. Little coupe motor oil. What else we got? A good shell or something right down there hiding? Oh, just old gasoline. We could probably shoot her full of air and pop them a few dents out. A few more of them. We got Skelly and then the coop over there. We may inquire on them. If I can remember, I'm pretty bad about remembering though. I'm lo I'm looping through all this so far. What, uh, you you found something you think I'm gonna want? Yeah. You're grinning. Uh-oh, well, we'll get to it. Quite a few of them old internationals. Got the three quarter ton of fun suburban over there. I don't think, I think I walked around these, but I don't even think I made it through these. Man, he's got a lot of stuff here. She's almost the right color, but not quite. She's a little too long and too well, we're not really in the market for a project that big anyhow, are we? No, we'll just pick a Mercedes, something you can't get parts for. That makes sense. Uh, he's got quite a bit of the Thunderbirds too spread out. Now what's this rig right there? International? No, it's Ford. Yeah, I know the internationals are different. What in the world? She's a third. This thing is sweet. Get in girls, we're going to Yosemite Sammy Mountain. Could you imagine driving this rig? That'd be wild. What in the world? No shitter. Well, when you got doors this big, you don't need one. <laughs> you can do a drive-by. <laughs> Just slide open the door and send her out. Of. Don't get it on dad's paint, dang it. Straight six down in there. Quite the powerhouse, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, got a good mirror in her, so you can address your yourself before you get out of it. Cool little pop-out window on it and everything. That's pretty cool. Dang, another international crew cab dually. 
Or is this the first one we were at? I don't even know anymore. No, we started out over here. Okay. We've made it back. I didn't realize that one had the tool side or cool. tool boxes on the top. Those boxes are cool. I like the grill on that thing. It's pretty cool. You know, that front end's kind of ugly. Everything you guys ugly. We're talking about all the internationals. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Dang! Did y'all see the Jurassic Park uh, Explorer over there? Yeah. We got a tracker. We're missing all the good stuff. Dang, nice little international head back behind here though. No one ain't got a, ain't got a too beat up body on it for what it is. These things are usually tanked. They beat the crap out of these things. They live that old farm truck life and usually don't make it out in too good a shape. Uh, most of the dents on this one could be whooped back out if I was a betting man. Back glass in them are super cool. You got the, uh, split back window all the crap out of here and you went to the grand marquis huh <laughs> the old salmon fish grand marquis <laughs> she's the old river winder this thing's got got a cool look to it i mean it's it's beat into you know what she's in rough shape mortsky's favorite he'll make her run guaranteed dang what's this a fast and the furious car did they have a 3000 gt in the fast and the furious Probably. I don't know them well enough. They all look the same to me. Is this the Santa Claus Christmas trailer? See the matching tow rig up there? What are you talking about? I see. Yeah, we got the truck with the bedsides all striped up. Yeah, and we got the And hallway. then you got the trailer all striped up. Yeah. Santa Claus is coming to town is what it looks like to me. <laughs> it's left of the Dodge. She used to be the right color, but then someone painted it white at one point. Y'all don't judge me for this, but when I was in high school, I wanted a Geo Tracker so bad for some reason. I'd still take one now, but we would just beat the absolute dog piss out of it. Uh, we got a matching set of the 12-inch caps on there if someone needed. But, uh, yeah. How about the old Jurassic Park rig over here, huh? Here's a good 8.8 .8 anyhow. Did y'all make it back here yet? Yeah. Oh, y'all done covered everything? Walked through the woods there to a new opening. And we got another little... Hidey hole, honey hole, honey hole of hidey hole stuff. Man, he's got all the fancy cars. I must think back this way and see what we can't find back here. Another Mercedes or something. I wish I could know how to identify these things. Or is that a Volvo? Ain't no telling. Too small, too stubby to be a Mercedes. Probably a Volvo. I'm just, I'm just kind of spitballing, guessing. Yeah, uh, gotta have a Jeep Wagoneer. And uh, these little, uh, you know, what the hell were these called? Someone just sent me one not too long ago. Dang, she's right hand drive. These little things are sweet. Uh, they made the wheelies one, and then they got the Metro Mike. And I don't know them all well enough to know what I'm looking at on them. These things are awesome, though, guys. They, uh, they don't, they're not big at all. And they just kind of got a look to them. I've tried to buy one or two over the years. Uh, Lance Bush over at Turning Rust or the Restored Channel. He beat me to a yellow one that was for sale in Oklahoma. He got he got the jump on me on that one. Uh, eventually I'll find the right one for us to buy up. And we'll get us one snatched up. Something like this. A sleeper dude. They've got a really cool one. They got the international one. They're putting a 6 liter in LS motor. So if y'all ain't checked them out, y'all be sure to check out the old sleeper dude and friends or family, I guess you should say. Look at the blazer with the old, uh, damned old mags. That's what everyone else would call them. Got a set of mags on it. What? Like the, the you like the mags? Yeah, Got a set of mags on it. Slick. Grand Marquis or Grand Prix push through caps. Got a nice little, uh, interior in her. She's a four speed unit. Dang. We got some wheel it run uh, possibility going on here. Hoods up. She's ready to start and drive home. Shoo! Whoever was driving this didn't even be driving home. They were in bad shape. Can't imagine why this baby's all dented up. Hi ho, hi ho, through the snow we go. Holy lug nuts. That baby's got the, got one monster rear end in her apparently. Uh, all this stuff we're finding back in here is pretty R-U-F-F. -F. It's all pretty rough. Wagons picked over. I don't even know what this is. 
little oddball car studi baker we're back here in snowdrift alley where all these cars are covered we can't even see them oh sorry about the snow guys kind of makes the day a bust it's hard to go check out cars when you can't really check out cars huh hey what we got here old farm all with a front end loader a little short bed furred but the front clips whoop, cut it off you know, before all, she's seen better days, but I bet she'd run. I bet she's a gooder. Slick? Ranch air, that's not the one. It's not the one. I don't know, there's just something about a car and a truck combined that does it for me. Man, that is some hillbilly looking trim though, from the factory. We'll just bring it along the wheel well, up the fender, down the hood. We're going down, psych! Up the pillar, to the roof. Yeah, those are terrible looking. Man. That's what makes them so good. <laughs> they're, they're so bad that they're so good. Another split window international. That one's about the same color as that other one we had found. Yeah, 59 Delivery. international uh, cab right there. You can tell she's a 59 from her dual stacked headlights. One on top of bottom. Well, that side's easier to see. Of course, that's the same 59 uh, front end that we got like from that one. Uh, 59 International we bought where we got that terrible deal from DNH Classics. <laughs> yeah. They just stuck it to me on that one. Drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. Uh, same body style as that one. A few old tractors in here. Uh, gotta look back in here. You, you walk by one corner and you don't go back there and look and that's where you miss something good. The old Minneapolis Mo Lane. Look at this hoss guarantee it see right there there's your good 56 ish chevy grill if you needed one just bend it where it's bent straighten it up and then it's good you know what i mean <laughs> now that grill that grill is salvageable if you needed one you would have just found it man internationals galore just all the wrong body styles don't you do it slick oh, i thought you were packing a snowball i gonna say i may have 12 layers on but i had some butt pellets in and i still whoop an ass <laughs> just drill me with a snowball i couldn't even chase you now if i needed to he does pretty good about coming across some of the old oddball studebakers and stuff too uh here's one got the sweet little uh, fins on the back of her champion huh amc eagle amc eagle oh baby is that the one you were saying no, oh uh look at this old tracked caterpillar machine that right there is about the coolest thing we've come across so far. Huh? <laughs> that Dylan says, don't look at it, it's mine. <laughs> you want it too? I'll, I'll buy it, they won't sell it. You won't sell it? No. It's cool. I take it just to go check the mail. <laughs> 30 minutes later, I'm back with the mail. <laughs> That's cool. Now these AMC Eagles four-wheel drive. That's what makes these awesome. Again, a car, truck, combo. Uh, Four-wheel drive usually don't go hand in hand with car. I wish uh, the snow was not on this where we could see it well, but even if we got the fluffy snow off, it's still gonna be covered where we can't truly see it. It's heartbreaking. There our old Ford long bed. Got a Fury. Now this international, oh, mismatched bed. Oh, it don't even have a bed. Uh, that's a good color on that baby right there, old Kermit D. Frog. Polish that baby up and run it. Man, that would be a good looking rig right there. Shoo! Got the old vintage box right there. Ribbed for structural pleasure. Now that used to have meat in it or something because it had the AC unit on it. Uh, a couple of the big cabs. Oh, what we got there? What's left of it? It's cut off at the back. What is it? Back of it right there. You know, back panel? Just fire up all red here and bring it all to the house. We'll take it all. Yeah. Dang, old two-tone turd. Blue on blue on blue crime. Holy cow. Who do you want to put those on, Slick? I don't know. I just like them. Who knew it was such a workout to walk through snow? Those things are massive. Oh, baby. Check out the sweet 58 over there. She's in pretty good shape. Uh, which way we need to swing back around? I feel like I missed stuff back over there. You navigate us. Okay. Y'all's Lewis and Clark. I'm just Pocahontas back here. Dang. Kind of little 
planters we got here those things look cool got a cool little look to them uh oh sweet the wagon yeah let's check out this 58 really quick this thing's looking pretty clean maybe the cleanest one and we can actually see it it's a miracle that's a snowy kansas miracle man she ain't picked over or nothing that's gotta don't be dented don't be dented she is not dented this right here is a good builder this car is 120 percent buildable this thing just cleaned up patina sauce and slammed down we're just driving period be good i can't tell a year oh november 74 she's been off the road for a minute got some caps in her and nice custom halloween edition headliner hanging underneath the hood we got the straight six also very complete man this car's this car's the find of the yard so far now here's one of the other internationals kind of like the lodestar except it's like the one we have with the stack headlight so here's the combination of it before they made it to the lodestar so i'm gonna spend some money on this one because that's pretty new metal and galvanized metal on there as our sides uh nice little service bed and the square body shoo got that nice grill in it he sell a grill Probably. we may need to buy a grill out of one of them nice little short bed international she's the what is that 60 one yeah, two front end on her and windows down these things just always seem to find the rat's nest or the rat's nest finds them they're always in bad shape dang let's take a moment to shout out the channel sponsor just playing o'reilly's ain't sponsored me in a while i still use them all right we got the moon eyes o'reilly's you better get with me or i'm gonna kick you out of here I'm done playing your damn games all right <laughs> Can it, can it, what do you mean you can't afford me this year? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing, guys. They're still working with me. They just got with me the other day about some stuff. The old GS. Is Morsky drug in one of them? He's been on all the oddball muscle cars. Yeah, those are mine if he wants to buy them. Oh, th this is all yours? This is mine. This is D&H Classics here? So you're saying if I look in this alley and shop, I can get a deal. That's all I heard. Dang, Slick. You like them colored lights. There's you one right there on the Buick. Got the old yellow fog light down on her. Oh, shoot. We got snow falling off the single wide. Hey, speaking of single wides and this being your stuff, did you buy the old uh, trailer tugger there? Well, that's the only thing to be useful to us. That way, when someone pisses you off in Oklahoma, you just say, like, keep it up. I'll come move your house. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up, it'll be gone. There you go. There she is. <laughs> this is one of them vehicles that I just, I don't know. I feel like one day we're gonna come across the right eagle wagon here again being a station wagon four-wheel drive now these things are freaking awesome the dotson F10. yeah dotson fm nobody wants that little thing <laughs> that little i'm a datsun fan and that's uglier than heck that looks like an egg has a hatchback i ain't even ever heard of a datsun f10 that thing is it almost looks like a pinto wagon got too much air in it and it whoop, exploded or expanded or whatever shield of shelter they could not have a more appropriate sticker for a bumper than this for this wagon because that this vehicle as a whole is a shield of shelter i feel like if you're in that no matter any given conditions you're safe Woo! now this one would not be one we would be wanting to pursue but you can't be too picky and choosy on these because they're not just sitting around everywhere uh, i have seen a good deal or two of them on the uh, marketplace from time to time of course i ain't hopped on one yet this thing is kind of weird it'd be fun to see if you could get it running or what was in it but as far as actually building it i can't say that would be uh anything would be interested in doing best looking dodge she's had yet as far as the sweat lines go she's just the right color got a good look to her oh jaguar we have not considered going fancy on the jaguar yet it's always the mercedes we're after dang the old super deluxe ford here she ain't got a bad looking she ain't a bad looking rig she got the yellow lights on the front too pretty complete looking yeah 58 international or 57 57 or 58 can't quite tell because the headlights are done forgot uh what else what else what else 
What in tarnation is that? My Chevrolet. Man, that's some pride to do that right there. What in redneck we got going on? I am not mad at that. That thing is cool. I don't know what the hell it is. Morris Minor. Morris Minor. I've, I've seen the front ends, but is this all actually Morris Minor too? Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. This must have been their little delivery wagon of some sort then. Obviously, someone sat the body over a, you know, more modern chassis. You got anything good in the back? No. <laughs> nope. She would be a project and a half, but that thing would be cool running around there. Holy loader. Man, that thing is wicked. General Motors truck. It got the tractor tires on it. All four-wheel drive. And look at that old scooper on the front. That thing is, I wanna drive it is what I wanna do. Right-hand drive, about 12,000 levers to choose from. Just take your pick. Got the spotlight going to the top. Gotta be able to see at night when you're working. And just sit on that old milk crate. You'll be fine. The old straight six in the back. Yep, sure enough. This thing is freaking awesome. Hey. And there's that old Dodge. So that truck right there came from Oklahoma where I bought the Yeehaw from. I had found that and uh, I told a guy in Texas about it and then he came up and bought it. Ended up at your place for a little bit. Went to my place to Texas to my place to here. Holy crap. <laughs> that truck's been everywhere. I should have just bought it when I could have got it for like a thousand bucks there and it could be storing stuff in my junkyard right now. <laughs> That old Dodge has a cool look to it though, because it's got that box, of course, but it's the right color. It's put them fab shop blue, uh, painted on the top and bottom. We got another one of these internationals over here, but she's the crew cab version, and she's got the uh, utility bed on the back. That's a rig. Shoot, next door we got the uh, Dodge, but crew cab. Of course, being crew cab, that makes it a whole lot cooler there. That's got a cool. Man, the little stubby bed on that with a swept line. This one's got a nice patina. And dang, that's got some room in there. That's a big old door. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool find right there. And we'll just keep it going since we started up here. We're kind of back where we started. Got another Ford. Uh, right color. Oh, that's an F600. That didn't look that big from over here, but I guess so. Either way. Those are good looking, good looking thirds. Still a fan. Nice little green color on our Studebaker bed there. Uh, head wherever, wherever we ain't been before. I wish we could fire this thing up and take it. We'd scoop up the snow. Oh, dang it. I thought it was time. We just want one person to fall at least. Preferably someone named Dale or Slick. Dang. Look at that one. Well, it used to be them old military tread pattern looking hog molly tires on that rig. She had the custom house paint paint job. You can see the brush strokes down the door. Oh, snow's a little deeper right in here, I'd say. I'm gonna have to put it in four low to get out. <laughs> if you wanted to fall, you'd have to actually slide like this. <laughs> Just bust it. Get that old long caddy. 50 five six ish give or take a year or so sea foam kind of mint color whatever you want to call that color uh, super cool color on those cars big fan gotta take the gotta take the drum and make you a spare tire holder over here don't you yeah got a it's that little corvair next door uh, another buick 50 i don't know them super well enough early 50s two ish or so I'm just spitballing some numbers here. Can't see much of anything else. How come all I can see is damn Studebakers? You buy the cab of this one? Have you a builder? Time to build a hot rod or what? Yeah. Huh? That's the nest in it. Is that the ones you usually go for? Oh yeah, these. Yeah, she's ready for a bonfire. That's about perfect. Carburetor's clean. I don't know if the camera can see it. Old rat been in there shucking corn. Y'all see that? <laughs> high-end fancy rat go for corn on the cob made her back to the open snow field there's the ultimate international box truck right there got the chevrons on the mirrors slam that baby on some semi wheels that thing's super cool 
and they're international with the square uh cab but the 60 style bed look at this bumper they had a tail light set up and a half going on at one point she was last tagged in 52 there's her next wheel at run <laughs> that's a wheel that stay its ass right here <laughs> that's a th oh my goodness i never thought i slick you usually want to impala on wire wheels well here you go buddy oh, you can't get much God. better than that right there jedediah holy cow hook that thing to a horse and take her back to oklahoma what, hell with will it run will it trot <laughs> They did what they had to do to get it somewhere is what is what happened it looked like oh four-door impala here well she's uh she's custom with a capital k missing her quarter as well she's been sacrificed yeah come to look at this 4400 and realize the front clip of it's been claimed already and we got a couple more big rigs back in here 40s chevy cab there you can tell by the grill whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. that means some vertical and horizontals of course nice little color on the fur she looks pretty solid not too dented up or nothing uh, we'll see 10 cab here of course you can't tell because of the snow but what you can see that stuff looks in decent shape could be a decent little parts cab there now this thing here uh, obviously you can tell it was a hot rod from very obvious for very obvious reasons one the color of it two she's got tinted windows three aftermarket seats four look at that dash you got uh aftermarket radio vents aftermarket gauges t-handle shifter house carpet and come to the front end and here you go here's you some nice custom fabrication uh, all the guys talk about how they used to clip stuff back in the day and you see a lot of the old subframe jobs and a lot of them have stuff underneath them like this which is scary it'll probably hold and it'll be all right but what's funny to me and i'm not just calling out anyone in specific here but you know some people say how i'll do a patina build but y'all see the chassis are put underneath a lot of these patina builds and they're nice and then you'll see a car like this that'll be painted and have nice wheels and y'all be like now that's a nice car like, hey don't look underneath it too close if uh, if it come down to which one's safer to be on the road better look at how i front clip one versus that kind of stuff you know what i mean but just don't worry about the, the old rusty surface rust on the outside don't worry about that stuff you better worry about what's going to kill somebody i'm gonna have to use my my tracking skills here and track these boys down through the through the snow here they come with a sneak attack man he's got all the 59s so many different dual stacked headlights you can't even choose which one you want to uh, pick got the c10 bed on the international cab that's some pot county stuff right there another 59 head right around the corner sure enough damn 59 central up in here oh snub nose i like those man they're cool i don't have no plans to ever build one but every time i see one it sure seems to get me excited another one of these fords also perfect color dang that's a good one right there holy cow there's one to build that's pretty well her hell with that put that thing on the semi wheels with the cummins that color is badass that's a good color it sucks that it has the newer grill style yeah uh, that yeah and that thing would shine up good too y'all see that right there a little buffing on that one would go a long ways my whole thing with the actual load stars is these grills right here i'm just not a huge fan and i don't think you can just swap grills on them i think the fenders and stuff are a little different i could be wrong someone may correct me now, of course we got one to build already but it does need some body work it's in a little rough shape a water truck here these water trucks are cool a couple people have built these things now where they got these big old tanks on the back and it's just got a got a tough look to it now the old peepaw ford here she was built for functionality that way he could uh, back his trailers in wherever he needed shove them in with the front bumper now that's the old rig right there she's a work truck ready to go dang a little slant back action over there swept line crew cab big version work truck where'd slick disappear to trying to get all the treasures before we can get to them dang half ton 59 ain't been a lot of half tons they've all been the the big ones plenty of let's see how's the all right so here's a lodestar 
uh, to show you guys the different grill on them and that's the grill i like so no matter which lodestar we end up building it's definitely got to have that grill in it and i found a couple in really good shape but they were the wrong style front end for me anyhow or our orange one's in really good shape but i'm just not in love with that orange color so who knows we got a couple couple options when it comes time to build the lodestar be looking forward towards it towards summertime probably around may we're gonna be digging into that thing well, we're definitely on the right uh alley if we were looking to start a farm we could uh, haul all the crop every single one of these have become a wall hanger too because they're all missing the front ends every single one of them the front ends being cut off of dang he must be the wall hanging selling machine now we ain't got a bucket truck yet slick that way when power goes out in pot county we can be we can be the real heroes out there, there slinging lines <laughs> just damned old lineman <laughs> dang ford almost looks like it has a mud tire but it somehow looks lowered a little bit i don't know another international front end popping out may have a little honey hole back here well at least she's got a front grill look like an old salt truck or grain truck or something booty's missing off that one yeah little thunderbird back there it looks like holy grill now i've seen a few of these ford cabs before but i don't think i've ever seen one guys they literally took like the half ton grill and took it to paint on windows 96 and just was like plus 400 percent and just blew up that factory grill and put it on the front of this thing in chrome that's hideous f o d it's missing the r freaking odd something well fortunately i think no matter how much we walk through this stuff oh well maybe we will find something cool like the cool old signage that used to be on this bigger international head back there yeah snow's a little thicker back in this part find anything good back here slick there's a few of the lots in here they said we weren't gonna have no sun today or mine said we weren't that's wrong yeah they were wrong that sun's coming out i'm sweating a little bit got me out here huffing it through the snow another 40s chevy yeah that's pretty cool sign there we could uh either either leave her together or just pull those signs off and mount them on the wall if that sun comes out we can't see a dang thing because oh sweet like the old phillips 66 on the side of this one of course the fur she's got a good patina man he just racks in these big old farm trucks like never ending ending supply of them here they're load star wonder what front end it has it's the uh, city of something midway usa load star does have the good front end they're bad about rusting out right there and as you've seen someone uh took care of this one already so you got some rebar welded to her bumper ready to duct tape your american flag to that way you win best in show at the uh, local parade during christmas time there's a few old bikes up in there boys i know y'all's the bike bike guys you bought those bikes do you own half this damn yard or what <laughs> A lot of the load stars were white or a lot of them were red and when i decided i was going to build one one of my stipulations was it could not be white or red uh, it had to be a different color for my load star these big internationals the older ones uh also kind of ugly personally my opinion uh, well we got hit back here ferd found an old ford and dodge right next door man she's got some tractor dual tractor tires on the back of her now that's a rig and a half right there that old rig wasn't planning on ever getting stuck not by choice anyhow well i think we made it to the end over here all this big rig old pump truck got the pump on the back of it they're just spraying everything out here gotta spray the crops oh nope oh. the boys are going in any kind of good stuff or what if i try to do that i'm gonna pop a pellet <laughs> yeah a little too much information for y'all probably but the reason we're doing the junkyard walk around uh, about four days ago now i got my butt cut open they put 10 testosterone pellets in there and they kind of glue you back together or whatever and i'm supposed to take it easy no heavy lifting bending a lot of stuff like that so today's my first day being active in a few days uh, to let that booty heal 
No. Tire to the butt. See, if that was me, that man knocked a pellet clean out of me. Clean out of you? We'll let them boys dig around. Maybe they'll find something good up in there, find the real treasures. Oh, I was about to say, I feel like I'm walking in the winter wonderland, like in a movie or something. Then I noticed that these things are covered in thorns. I mean, I, I don't think in cute little Christmas movies, you're supposed to take a damn thorn to the neck and possibly die. Uh, as they're digging through there, I noticed this old Chevrolet grill over here. So I figured we could walk over here, check out this cab. That door's awesome, something motor service. Great Bend, Kansas. Phone 602, call them today. He's got enough of this crap that I walk one little bit away and I can't even tell if I done looked at some of these or not. Whew, I know I should have layered down though. Man, uh, I'm sweating. I done put on all the layers. Look at the old uh, leaf spring with the overloads. She is the dolly. Guarantee you had a wood flatbed that fell apart. When everything starts looking the same, you may be lost. The old hay rake on the flatbed. We've seen like six of these trucks this color at this point. They just got them Ford stacked in that color and body style. Uh-huh, and I done thought we had seen it all. This is another new opening. Got the uh, Studi Baker. And then look, this is the third Ford, one of these cab overs, like that one we just seen a second ago. Also this color, man. Put in Fab Shop Blue, this one's the worst shape. This door's been knocked in. If putting Fab Shop Blue ain't your color or flavor, he's got a red right next door though. Then here's another one of them internationals with the bigger grills. Yeah. She's confused on what color she is. Some, at one point she was putting Fab Shop Blue up top. Apparently she's a two-toner. Oh, nice little microwave comes with this one. All right. I don't know if them boys are still searching i'm about to pop a smoke out here help find me sos i'm lost i'm sweating my damn legs are tired uh man got me huffing and puffing out here big old winch on the back of that one yeah i looked over there slick just popped his head out the trailer yeah uh, so i don't know if they found anything or not should i find anything good i got you something uh-oh what is that Oh, baby, you dang right. <laughs> we could use that with as bright as it's getting out here. How they look? <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty good. I figured. They smell like a 90 year old's house. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> why am I smelling more? <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can barely see me there, but those do look good. I always look like a mad scientist or something. Uh, I went and uh you go over there now went through that yeah i think i think we covered everything wherever we're at here uh for trekking through guys boys they're hungry they want to uh go find us a bite to eat that'll give me some time to think on our mercedes uh, i do want to apologize it is hard like i said to see the vehicles that was not my intention we had this trip planned out the snow just happened to do its thing guys i never seen a snow plow like this I'm from Pot County, all right? We won't be getting them big old snows. But man, look at this thing. Front wheel drive, rear's just a drag axle. But look at the size of that plow. Holy cow, if there's snow, this thing be knocking it down. It'd knock it out of the way anyhow. This thing is wild looking. The big old flathead in her. That old flatty's a baddie. We got the air breather going up, custom flex exhaust with some welds here or there. Guys, you know, good and well, this thing was making four horsepower, 19 foot pounds of torque. Just use, relying on gearing and a hope and a prayer to shove this around through some snow, shove that snow out the way. I'd love to see one of these things in action. All right, I think they're over there. Uh, ready to go grab back to eat. We're gonna go do that. Then we'll come back and see if we're gonna be loading a Mercedes. Still ain't quite made up my mind. And then, uh, either way, dylan has got some swapping out to do with him. Uh, so we gotta unload his trailer and get his new load on. And snow is just annoying, by the way. You couldn't pay me to live somewhere where there's always snow. Just ain't, ain't that hard to deal with. It's just freaking annoying. Woo, that little bit of wind picked up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> we almost got it. Dylan, take one for the team straight off the trailer. <laughs> oh, <I don't> 
in the mud puddle. <laughs> Sacrifice. Did you have all of these? Yeah. Dang. You just went and rounded up all the Thunderbirds you could find or what? They all came from one place. I guess they like Thunderbirds or something. Somebody's <laughs> got to like them. Somebody's got to. Not, not us. Very much to grab a hold of. Well, as he takes that, we're kind of to the point where we got to make a decision on if we are taking home a Mercedes today. And we talked over options at lunch. Hey, if I get this thing and don't want it, you gonna buy it from me? Yeah. He said, yeah, so. You gotta get it running first though. Gotta get it running first. All right. So, at the worst thing that happens, we either go home, <laughs> please just eat it. <laughs> the worst thing that happens is, you know, in a month or two, we need to will it run for a quick week or something. We get the thing running and DNH will buy it from us. So we don't got much to lose. Sounds like we can get our money back. So we either get something out of the day or we get nothing out of the day. And I think we'll just take something, which is a black Mercedes. Do what? That was yeah, we can see her a little, a little better now with some of the, the snow off of her. So he wants... I don't know. I think we'll take it. Why not? Do it. That's the only bad spot. <laughs> that spot don't count as bad. Eh. Not to a body man like, not, not not a body man of your caliper, slick. I'll make you a whole door if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Cost twelve times more than the car. Hey, you didn't ask that. Let's <laughs> keep walking, buddy. I seen you do the Bambi legs about four times. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh. Use her for a little snow plowing, huh? <laughs> Knock the flat spots, clean off the tires. Sit the old Mercedes down and bring the old Buick up and over. Of course, we ain't used to having that for loading and unloading stuff. When we get this to the house, we're gonna have to yank it off the trailer with the Torola. <laughs> like you may flip her around backwards. Dang, I see the old pan hard bar mount coming up off that rear end. So that's how y'all do that, huh? She needs more than buff, buddy. I'm just gonna shoot you straight. <laughs> I, I was thinking that Mercedes was a little rough, but if we're gonna start talking about what's rough around here, she needs more than buffed on. The glass is fine. I like his confidence in that, cause uh, I'm no depth perception. I thought he was just about to drill those forks through the door and I was gonna tell him to keep it. <laughs> and then right at the end, he was just whoop, right underneath there. He knows what he's doing. What are we doing here, Slick? I don't know. Taking a Mercedes home. Taking a Mercedes home. What else would we be doing here? It's meant to be. I mean, empty trailer, you have to take some home. You're right. She'll run anyhow. That'd make a good Pot County putting around town rig. Sit it right back on them flat spots. See the little crooked on the end. That's all right. Oh, he's fighting fenders on this side. That's what he's having to do. Beautiful job. Oh, not the trim down the side. Slick said I can fix it. <laughs> Camera was on, man. It's the pressure. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of pushed to fit anyhow. She'll uh, she'll go back on. We'll just pretend like. You know, we didn't see that. I'm sure that's like half the price, asking price of the car off anyhow. Well, we made it home, everyone. I found a thing, four gallon of the Smart Waters. You got double the water versus two single ones and it was like half the price. That sounds pretty smart to me. Uh, well, Dylan here done backed her up. We're gonna try to shoot some air in these tires. Sun's just going down. Uh, Pretty decent haul there, three and a half hours one way for us. That means four and a half for him because he's got about another hour south before he gets home. It does look better with the snow off of it. I was gonna say, speaking of the snow and the lack thereof, we should have stayed in Oklahoma today because apparently today here is like 63, 64 and sunny, which was a lot better than what we were playing in. Not that it was that bad. And the guys were complimenting the interior and I guess I just didn't pay attention close enough and. Yeah, I think they're a little more impressed than what I am. She ain't too bad, though. Hey, I said I wanted to find one. We found one, and it was a thousand cheaper than the one we found local. So, with that being said, uh, I'm still not upset. 
Let's see how many tires are gonna explode. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, maybe unchain it. <laughs> Try to air it up as it's strapped down. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, that one's definitely taking air. And it definitely picks up easier with the tension off. Go figure. That's why you should go with DNH Classics to help find you some parts or a project. Not only are they smart, they're extra smart. I'd have been sitting here going, these tires ain't gonna take no air. I mean, it's letting it out just as fast as it took it. <laughs> yep, I can hear it back there, but it did take some. This one will be empty before we get the other three done. I figured I'd get it off. You pull them off push. This, the air's going everywhere, but besides staying in the tire. <laughs> I think that means hell no in tire talk. The only one that's holding air, I can still hear it blowing out. All right, that was a valiant effort on our part, I guess. <laughs> oh, toll roll a couple mismatched headlights. Don't worry about that. Uh, junkyard's kind of getting full. Well, stuff's just in a bad spot. We've been bringing in a lot lately. Uh, I'm gonna have Slick back the old Torola into next to the 61-ish area back in that honey hole and then hidey hole. And then we'll have old Dylan. He's gonna back up here and we'll just yank it off in front of the C10 half haul area. And just for tonight, that'll be good enough. It's gonna get dark quick and we ain't gonna get too picky. That's right, good. Tucked up in there, she looks like the damn Batmobile ready to attack. Bang, he's gonna back that old six wheeled Cadillac all the way around from there. Well, Slick, I told us over here I was gonna build us a uh, junkyard one day. I think we're getting there. We got a heck of one. Before too long, people can come do walk around videos here. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Woo, keep her coming. That's good. Like I said, I ain't gonna get too picky here. Uh, we're just gonna take what we can get. Dang, Slick, you got the old 40-footer out, huh? Yeah. Done playing games? No. <laughs> Probably made it to the point y'all can't see. What you gotta do, pop the ratchet strap? Yep. That's the trailer or the ramp release? Yep. I'm gonna have Dylan pull up just a little bit, actually. Keep going. All right. I seen you spinning tires. I was about to come over that tow roller and shove you out of there with the push tire. Guys, we kind of tugged on that with all them flats. Apparently she's there. Yeah, uh, it's actually harder to move than I thought it was gonna be. We yanked on it some. We just gotta be careful back here because we do have the 61. We do have Mr. Mercer. Uh, I think we're gonna have to ch choke up and get a different strap on it because if we start getting momentum, I'm definitely gonna hit something back there before we get it all the way off the trailer. Hey, right, this would be a good time to have proper equipment. Who are we kidding? Right here, we have proper equipment. It's called the tow roller. I can yank on it a little harder. Sorry guys, night operation. I don't know if you can see, we are right next door to that old 61 bubble top. Now, y'all can't see Diddly on this old GoPro. Either way, she got her rolling, of course. Well, if we got a little light in the tow roller going. Now you can kind of see the, yeah, you can see her next door now. See Slick out front, getting her toe strap. And now we're gonna have to really snake out of here, which is gonna be tricky. Cause we're in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, that's all right. Mama didn't raise no punt. That's why I like the tow roller. Uh, all this other stuff, all this fancy equipment people have, nothing, nothing can quite snake like the tow roller. I have shown it, uh, for example, right there. We're out. Come around right here. We can cut in front of Dylan. Uh, actually, Dylan may move. Oh, Dylan found the mud himself. There we go. Tow roller's back in her hidey hole. I truly don't know what we'd do without this thing. 
All right, guys, D&H is headed out. Dylan, thanks again. Old Slick Fitty, he's hopping in the old Love Tap. Yeah. About to do the hop and tap across town. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, man. We'll close that door where we ain't got to hear that old uh, weed eater start up out there. Uh, talking on the way back, he's like, we still need to race it in the Yeehaw. And I'm like, I don't know why you want to cry, Slick. I don't even know why he thinks it's going to be a race. It ain't going to be a race. He's going to be looking at the back of that Yeehaw that says hot damn. I guarantee you that. It's not going to be a race, Slick. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I know this was not uh, the best walk around video. We like to do the junkyard walk around videos. Uh, but with the snow, it made it difficult. However, man, those guys are like, sure are noisy. They're noisy. Uh, if y'all guys have been watching, y'all know I've been after a black Mercedes. And we did, in fact, land one today. We got to meet Silas, super nice guy. Uh, now, I don't think he retails, so like I said, I'm going to just put a link to his description in the channel. Y'all can go, or in the ch channel, his channel, in my description. I think you know what I mean. Uh, so y'all can go check out his channel. Uh, now, as far as can I get you in contact with him or any of that, that's his business, guys. Uh, just go check out his channel, and then you can figure out uh, him from there. That's all I can tell you. Uh, thank you, Silas, for having us out today. Uh, guys, I do wish we could have seen more because of the snow at the end of the day. Uh, I am still healing up, and I will tell y'all my butt is not happy right now after being on it, traveling all day, and walking. Uh, it is ready for some rest. And this week, I could either do nothing or I could push through one day and still get us a junkyard video and get us a Mercedes here, which is definitely a for sure a solid will it run. I don't know anything about cars like that, so I would love to tear into it uh, just to learn a little bit about them. Anyhow, uh, I did the most I could for this week with healing up or whatever. And now we got, so going into next week, we should be back on that S10 uh, one week on that. I know people's like, what are you doing with it? What are you doing? And I've told you, I told you, I told you we were waiting on paperwork. Well, then we were out of town. And then, you know, I had to be Mr. Pellet here with my butt healing up. So we're about to be back where we can actually do some solid work in the shop. I need a week on that. I need a week on this. They'll both be buttoned up. In fact, progress is being made for this because as you may notice if you look close enough <laughs> knock that dust off boy how did the seats gone we'll talk about that later uh thank you guys for being here and watching thank y'all for all the support uh 2024 here let's get going on some builds now we've been doing some junkyard crawling now let's start doing some in shop building and uh yeah i'm on instagrammer i'm on the patreon i kind of have a facebook page sort of uh puddingsfabshop.com for that good quality merchandise and what else what else what else guys i reckon that's it thank you for being here however do not forget one last final thing sitting on your ass won't finish your project it's been a rough week for me to be told i've literally got to sit on my butt and just let it heal uh, been a tough time 